Welcome to another YouTube video. It's that time of year again, kids. Time to start my birthday dress for 2020. And I don't know if you know this, but 2020 has been a fucked up year. A fucked up year. Therefore, I'm going to make an equally fucked up dress to go with the year. Why not? So we, it's been the apocalypse and crazy shit has happened. So I have been inspired to make some sort of apocalyptic raider type dress for my birthday this year. And the craziest thing about the entire thing is that... It's going to be white. Can you imagine such a thing? Can you imagine me in white? Well, you're going to see it. You don't even have to imagine it. At the end of this video, you will see it, which is going to be short for you, but it's going to be a very long process for me. So let me show you my idea concept drawing, which is shit. We all know I can't draw, but hopefully you'll see what it is. I'm going to show you the materials and then I'm going to get started. All right. So here's what I got. I've got some white grommet tape here. This is some old lingerie. Some of this stuff might not even get used. I've got a shit ton of this stuff. I don't know if I'll use that or not, but my mom gave it to me. I have like a lot of back braces, like a lot. I think there's like 10, 10 back braces in here at least. Got some ivory sheer curtain material. Got some lace, two gas masks. I'm going to need at least two. We'll see if I need any more coming up. Got a bag of fake nails and pearl beads. This is power mesh because it seems that every year I just design a dress where everyone needs to see my ass for some reason. I don't know why that is, but anyway. Got a cool bag of like vertebrae here. Got some coyote vertebrae, some snake vertebrae. White-ish canvas, corset busk, rust dyed feathers, another bag of random lace and doilies, and some white sheer curtain fabric. So that's my pile of stuff, and I'm gonna show you the drawing. Okay, so here's my concept for the whole thing. I know my drawing is shit, but hopefully you get the point. So this is going to be power mesh here, completely sheer. And this is the panties. You can see the panties underneath, which I'm going to make out of back braces. They might be the world's most uncomfortable panties, but we shall see. And it's going to be long and drapey and then gathered up here. So this is all legs sticking out. This is going to be a corset. I'm going to make the corset entirely out of back braces, which is going to make me hate everything about my life, but I'm going to do it anyways. This is going to be like a bodicey posture collar all attached with probably most of my titties hanging out, but we shall see. And then a very large sheer hood. And then I'm going to mount on the back. I'm going to mount a gas mask on the back of my head. That's going to be covered in like lace and beads and stuff like a Marie Antoinette gas mask. So from the side, it'll look like this. That's the sheer hood there. And then from the back, this is going to be the back of my head. And then I'm going to make a spinal column out of those vertebrae and sew it to the corset and the harness. Got some arm glovey things here. That's my bum. That's a drawing of my bum. Actually, my bum isn't that nice. My bum is a lot flatter than that. With the back of the thong into the skirt. And then this is a purse. I'm going to make myself a purse out of the other gas mask with a cool vertebrae handle. So there you have it. Let's get started. This part's done. Yay. Yay. What is it? It's a weird ass corset vest thing. This is entirely boned. Everything has boning in it. My sewing machine gave me a serious middle finger, but like we did it. We got there, long ass zipper up the back. You wanna see what it looks like on? Ready? Ta-da! This is what it looks like on so far. I haven't decided, I might add lace ruffles here and maybe here, I haven't decided yet, but like that's it so far. Now onto the corset. All right, so here's what I got. I got many back braces. There's probably like six or seven here. I got my corset pattern. I got some beige-ish ribbon. Scissors, pencils, and stuff. White canvas, a shitload of pins. And we're gonna get started on this. My corset, and well, my corset's gonna be great. My sewing machine's gonna fucking hate me though. Jesus. The corset's done. It's done. Look at this mess. It's done. I'm really excited about it. And let me tell you, this is actually a good learning lesson for me and for everyone else out there. This was already done once before. I should have already recorded this. But you know what? I put it on and I discovered a flaw. And I was pissed. I was so pissed about it. Jessica can attest to how pissed I was about it. And I had to rip the whole fucking thing apart and do like hours and hours and hours of like fixing and altering to make it look the way that I wanted. So, I mean, it happens to the best of us. If your projects don't turn out at first, just take a break, swear a lot, maybe have a drink, then go back to it tomorrow and it'll, it'll turn out eventually. So, you know, it's not that you're not good enough. It's the, just that you got to keep trying when you fuck up, which we all do. So I'm going to put this on and show you guys. Ready? Here it is on, ta -da! right? Got the back brace panels here. I found this, I love this. It doesn't do anything and I fucking love it. Some extra garters, the back, 
makes my hips look wide, eh? Like, I own, I own my wide British hips over here, but, like, if, if they look wider and white, <laughs> it's a little bit odd for me. This, uh, of course, it also goes lower over the hips than the ones I usually make, but I thought that was a fun addition. So now we're going to move on to the gas mask skirt because, the gas mask skirt, the gas mask purse, because I don't want to do anything with any more fucking boning right now. Between that vest thing and this thing, I'm goddamn done with corset boning, and we're moving on to hand sewing. Let's go. All right, the purse is done. This is cool as shit. This actually turned out cooler than like I thought it was going to, to be honest with you. It's got the bone handle, got all this cool shit. And I look at this. Have you ever seen a zipper and a gas mask before? Probably not. See? Just open her right up like that. Put your like phone and stuff in there. Totally awesome. Bone handle, removable bone handle, I might add. And yeah. I'm fucking impressed. This turned out really, really cool. I'm very excited about it. I've done the underwear for my dress. Woo! So this is the front. I used part of a back brace here. I tried the bottom, not gonna lie. They feel kind of weird like in this, in this area because it's a little bit thick, but like they look really cool. So that's the front. That's the back. So they have like this like thong bit and then those go over your butt. I kind of feel like they look like a cross between like fetish underwear and the jock straps that the guys wore in Clockwork Orange, but I'm totally fine with that. I actually really like the way they turned out. All right, welcome to a two for one finished product. I finished the back of the head gas mask, this thing. Every single time I sew lace and shit to a gas mask, I say, I'm never gonna do this again because it's fucking terrible. And then I do it again. This is like the fourth or fifth time I've done this. But anyway, this, and I also finished the hood. And I'm now going to put them on for you so that you can see what they look like. All right, so here's the gas mask on, which looks really weird from the front. But this is the back. So do you guys remember that movie, Eyes Wide Shut? This is what it reminds me of. Like walking away, a gas mask on the back of my head. Pretty cool, right? And now I'm going to add the hood to it. All right, so here it is with the hood. I put a little loop in the hood here so I can pin this hood to my head so it doesn't like fall off all the time. So it just basically has these shoulder straps, which won't be as visible when I'm wearing white. And side view and back view. I can't really see the back, so I hope it looks as cool as I think it does. But like, I'm pretty happy with this. And I've got laid out over here all my stuff to start the skirt. So I'm gonna start that and uh, hopefully it goes well. I'm pretty excited. We're getting, we're getting to the easier things. This gas mask was the last really pissy offy thing that I had to do. So now we're gonna do the skirt, which should be much easier, I hope. Okay, so the skirt's done. The skirt is done. Aren't you excited? It has a huge flare at the bottom and it is also 100% completely sheer. So this is normally the part where I would say I'm going to try this on for you, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not taking my pants off right now. You'll have to wait till the end of the video if you want to see my bum. That's the special thing that you get at the end. You get to see my bum through this skirt, but not right now. So anyways, now I'm going to move on to the boots, which I have right here. I got these boots at the thrift store. I've discovered is it extremely, extremely hard to find white footwear. I had no idea. I put out the call on Instagram. Nobody had any suggestions for me. Online ordering is like not a thing because Canada Post is taking like fucking forever and I'm out of time. So I got these at the thrift store, which are beautiful and camouflage, uh, but they're paintable because they're canvas. So I'm going to paint them. I'm going to fuck them up. It's going to be great. And we're definitely getting rid of these laces because that's, that's ugly. So this is the next thing I'm going to do. See you then. The boots are done, you guys. They're done. It was a whole lot of hand sewing. It was a pain in the ass. But I'm pretty pleased with it. I used up a bag of my mother's doilies on them. And they look great. Why don't I have them in my hands, you might ask? They're down there. I'm excited, you guys. All right, you want to see a magic trick? Get ready. One. Two. Three. Ta-da! Look how fancy. I think I did a pretty good job considering the ugly camo motherfuckers that these things were before. Okay, I lied. I lied. I'm gonna cut out the mask. Yes, I am. I'm gonna work on it. I'm in the middle of working on it right now. But I'm also going to work on this vinyl cord. <laughs> All right, I finished the mask, obviously. I'm yelling really loud because it muffles my voice, but here it is such as it is. Now I take it off. Hopefully it doesn't get caught on my earrings. I fucking hate ear loops, you guys. I hate them so much. 
because of my earrings, but because of my outfit, I have to, I have no choice. So there it is all done. Going to model it with my other shit later. And this, isn't this fucking cool? It's done. I wired it all together. It looks amazing. You know what? People say I talk about my shit too much in between and they're like, just hurry up and get to the end. And you know what? I'm proud of my shit. So too bad. If you want to skip to the end, you can. But like, I'm fucking proud of this. So if I want to show it off a little bit in between, so be it. And now the very last thing is for me to put this all on and model it so you can see the end result. Get ready. Here we go. I lied. I lied to you. I forgot I drew gloves. And uh, so I just made up the gloves. Here they are. Very asymmetrical. I put this one on this arm because I need to bend this arm a lot because I'm right-handed. This one is a little bit less mobile, but not bad still. Not bad. Um, sort of an opera glove made out of back braces. I think it's pretty cool. Added some garters to it. And now I'm going to go try on the dress for you finally. So here it is all complete. I hope you like it. It takes two people to get me into this outfit. Thank you very much. All the best outfits take at least two people to get into. And I don't know if I ever told you guys why I decided to make my outfit white this year. A friend of mine posted on Instagram one of those throwback Thursday pictures, which he never does. And he was like, you know what? It's 2020. Up is down, cats are dogs, black is white, and it's the fucking apocalypse. And I was like, what if black was white? What if black was white? Because it is the apocalypse. And that inspired me to make a white apocalyptic couture birthday gown dress, which I think turned out really well. Got the gas mask purse, do a little spin. I think it turned out fucking great. I'm excited about it. So now we're going to give you the close ups. Apocalypse.